Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Good fucking God, can you guys hear this fucking bullshit? This screaming little fucking two-year-old brat. It is this absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, I mean, over-the-top, beautiful morning. It is a Thursday morning, July 6th. 2023, I believe. It is fucking... It's 8 o'clock in the morning now, but of course I have been awake since this little fucking two-year-old got me up at 6.30. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. You, you know how one goddamn two-year-old You know, I hear this family that they fucking drive up and this fucking little brat is going on. So for two goddamn days and nights, I had two fucking two-year-olds here. Two two-year-olds, a four-year-old, and a five-year-old. And, uh, there was one point I just had to get in a fucking truck when, when they were both here and it was like stereo and uh, I just had to get in the fucking truck and, and leave j just to get away from this shit. You, you know, they, they get out of the fucking car, they're screaming. Just, I mean, completely destroying the uh, peace and quiet and tranquility uh, of what I tried to set up here at Bugs in the Jar Farm. Uh, just, you know, in the, the space of 30 seconds, these little fucktards. They're out with their with their goddamn screaming, and, and it's almost as bad when they're laughing. Thank God, I've never had any of them singing. the The, the sound of children singing uh, the, the 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 very sound of children singing makes me almost long for children crying. Uh, children singing is one of the most irritating fucking sounds on the planet. And I've never heard this. This whole fucking saying that children should be seen but not heard. Uh, I, I sure as shit I agree with the second half of that sentence. Uh, that they need to have a fucking sock stuck in their fucking mouth. From the time they're about ten minutes old, and you pull it out when they're about eight. Should be seen. Children should be seen. Uh, I like to see children uh, waving goodbye uh, out of the fucking window of a car or leaving bugs in a jar farm. I, I like to see children doing that. And children waving goodbye. That is one of the great joys. Probably children waving goodbye uh, has brought me more joy. Ch you know, my, the, the joy of children 
the number one joy of children, hands down, bar none, is having them waving goodbye. Which, of course, is the polar opposite of waving hello. So, th this is a perfect example right here. Perfect example. Now, this wasn't the two-year-old. This was the five-year-old. So, what this is, guys, this is, you know, I have these five-gallon uh, jugs of drinking water in each one of the cabins where I fill up with my delicious well water. Well, there's this, I have it put on so hard now, so there's this spout that comes off the, you know, when you pump the water, the, the, the water comes out of the end of the spout. It's got this little plug to keep cockroaches from going up it. So, this family with this, uh, with a two-year-old and a five-year-old, we're up here for two fucking nights. And uh, so I come up here yesterday. I got more people coming in today with two more kids. At least they're eight and thirteen. Thank God, the kids coming in today are eight and thirteen. So uh, I come here to fill up the water jug, and there's no fucking spout on it. That uh, the, the the goddamn spout on the water jug uh, had mysteriously disappeared and uh, looking all around so I call the people uh, this family from India uh, so I had one family from India and another family from China here for the 4th of July and we have another Indian family coming in today uh, so anyway now as this Indian dude like, like, what the fuck? Where's the fucking spout uh, on the on the jug? And he goes, "What are you talking about, Sam?" And I said, "The fucking spout that your that your goddamn little kid uh, just thought was some fucking toy, and uh, it ripped off the the goddamn uh, water pump." And he goes, well, "Let me ask my wife." That now the, the guy was smart. You see the. You see the tent set up out front. Uh, <laughs> the dude, uh, the, the father, slept in the tent. He said he slept great. He went out there and slept in the fucking tent, leaving his wife and the and the two year old and the five year old in the house. The the poor man uh, was thrilled to have this goddamn tent. So the, the wife tells him, tells Sam to look under the bed for the spout. Under the bed. So I go back in the house and I, and, and I have to pull, you know, I pull this big hammock out of there and shit. And uh, way back under the bed, behind the hammock and shit, there's the goddamn spout. So... This woman knew that the water spout was under the bed. Don't you think uh, they, they could have, uh, th that she could have gotten in on her fucking hands and knees and gotten the goddamn water spout out and put it back on the jug, that, which is this other part of this thing, is this, uh, which I was talking about in this recent rant, you know, cheering on Frontier Airlines for having their stewardesses offer to throw screaming babies out the fucking window. Uh, is, is this this entitlement of uh, these breeders, and, and I will say this is a lot bigger problem with women than men. Uh, I think the vast majority of this breeder entitlement uh, is, is uh, goddamn mothers. It's just like, you know, they paid to stay here. Uh, so, since they paid to stay here, it just entitled their, their fucking five-year-old to start ripping shit apart. And, uh, and it's not her job 
to, uh, it, it, it's not her fucking job to clean up uh, and, and fix the damage that her kids caused. That's just not, not her fucking problem. It's not her fucking job. You know, you've heard these little fuckers called curtain climbers. So I'm assuming this was the two-year-old and not the five-year-old. So, uh, you know, one of the windows in the tiny house, you know, was right directly alongside the bed. So while you're in the bed, you can open and close the curtain without having to get out of bed. And uh, so obviously the two-year-old was trying to rip the goddamn curtains down. So what the woman did was she stuffed the curtains up in the, you know, top corners of the curtain rods, just balled them up and stuffed them in there between the curtain rod and the wall and, and, and wrinkled the shit out. I mean, you know, these are my $600 curtains. So she goes out there and she and she wrinkles the curtains up in a ball and, and stuffs them in there. It would, it would have taken her about 15 seconds just to take the fucking curtain rod off. Uh, but no, uh, she decides, so, so now that my, you know, my $600 curtains that this Amish woman made are, are all fucking wrinkled and balled up. And, uh, do you think she, uh, b before they left, do you think that she like maybe would have unballed the curtains and tried to straighten them out. No, she just left them in this fucking wrinkled ball. Uh, that's from the fucking two-year-old. Uh, she leaves the fucking water spout uh, up under the bed. I'm sure I'm going to find some more goddamn damage. You know, I, I, I charge no cleaning deposit here. I, I charge no damage deposit here. And uh, so the, this family down here, you know, they, they got they got the two-year-old and a four-year-old uh, down there, and you know, in Blue Dragon, which is the biggest uh, of the tiny houses here. And uh, I guess they leave tomorrow, and I get to go look at the goddamn damage that a fucking two-year-old and a four-year-old is inflicted on that place in four fucking days. I need to start uh, charging a damage deposit. Not, not, uh, n not for dogs, for, uh, 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 for kids. These goddamn kids are, they're, they're a hell of a lot more uh, destructive. They're, uh, you know, they're, they're a bigger bother. That they, you know, for people coming here looking for some peace and quiet and serenity in nature, that to, to have to listen to this fucking shit and with these fucking screaming little brats, and it, and as far as I can tell, at least with this family, they don't tell the fucking kid to shut the fuck up. So their mother last night. We, we put in, I put in a brand new modem and router yesterday, a brand new modem and router. So we have the top of the line uh, <laughs> internet. So I, I, I go up to their cabin, they were off somewhere. I go up to their cabin and make sure that the internet works fine from the cabin. So the, everything is working fine. And so... Uh, they get back home, and I tell them I've upgraded the internet here, and uh, give them the new password, and, and I told them, I said, I took both of my laptops up there to your house, and uh, it's getting fine internet and stuff, and so uh, a couple of hours later, the woman, you know, she's working remotely, she comes down and starts setting up her laptop in the community kitchen, you know, right down by the, right down by the side of the house and stuff. And I said, oh, I, I said, are you having problems uh, with the Wi-Fi? And she goes, no, everything's fine with the Wi-Fi. She goes, I'm trying to get away from the kids. 
so I can get some work done. So the, the, this woman is fleeing her own fucking children. Uh, I mean, I don't blame her. That's what I said. Uh, I just kind of laughed and said, well, I guess you can hide from here. So she left her husband up there to deal with the goddamn two-year-old and the four-year-old. And then, and I don't know if he's sleeping out in the tent. So they also have this 15-year-old, this 15-year-old boy, a really nice kid. And it's like this dude, this 15-year-old boy, he, he spends like his entire time here in, in, in the goddamn bathroom. Uh, I don't know what this kid is doing in there. It's like he'll go in the, you know, they have their own outhouse. They have their own outhouse, and as far as I can tell, the father, the two-year-old, and the five-year-old are using the outhouse. And the mother and the 15-year-old are choosing to take the walk to the community bathroom, but this 15-year-old, it's, it's not like he comes to the bathroom one time and does whatever you do in the bathroom and leaves. He, he, comes, he comes in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. Like, does, does the fucking dude have diarrhea? I, I, I mean, what the fuck? How many times, and, and it's a good long walk down some steep stairs, so he'll come all the way down to the stairs, he'll go in the bathroom, he'll be in there about 10 minutes, then he'll walk all the fucking way back up to the cabin, and then 20 minutes later, he comes back again, goes back in the bathroom, uh, you know, locking everybody else out, he is completely taken over and dominated the fucking bathroom that everybody uh, that everybody shares. But uh, at least he doesn't scream and thug and yell and so anyway. I get rid of them tomorrow and uh, have a 13 year old and an 8 year old showing up here where I'm sitting up here right now in the piney woods. Uh, the sound of young children. Talk about the sound of existential despair. The sound of existential despair. Children crying, children laughing, children singing. The sound of children is the sound of existential despair. But anyway, I have finished my Save the Planet Organic cup of coffee here on this lovely morning. I'm going to wrap this up and uh, get this place ready to be invaded by an 8-year-old and a 13-year-old. Let's see what they can do to destroy the fucking place. Get out there and avoid the sound of existential despair. Well, you still can. Bye, guys.